afternoon, everybody. So, Andrew Lambin came to our page this afternoon and decided to, he was going to troll and make some smart comments and spam the page with his link to his page. That's not on. We don't allow electioneering for any politician, least of all Andrew Lammy. All right? Unbelievable. So, I've got all the screenshots, by the way, because where was Andrew Lammy while he was doing this? Well, he was sitting in Parliament House being paid by you, the taxpayer, and being paid by the, um, the voters that voted him in in Bowman in Queensland, expecting him to be doing his job representing his constituents instead he was playing on facebook and he was trolling our page and he was having a go at people's comments and he was making smart ass comments and spamming with his links that's what your taxpayer dollars are paying our politicians to do is to play on facebook is that what Scotty does when he turns his back and he's sitting there on his phone? They're all on Facebook, are they? Seriously? So, I mean, honestly, this was just... I'm going to read Amanda's thing here. Lambing's motion today was not about youth justice, right? It's about collective punishment of young people in Australia and a national rollout of the cashless debit card across Australia. Everything else is crime, addiction, etc., is being used by him to help LNP achieve that goal. He has lied to Parliament and the people, even on the basics about CDC, several times now, and he doesn't get it. That without individual assessment, none of his claims are remotely valid. Laws already exist to sanction and even drop people's payments if they don't meet mutual obligations. We don't need any laws. We don't need collective punishment of our children and our young people. CDC or forced income management does not assess anyone prior to them being captured by forced income management. It is a punitive collective punishment of all people based on social class and income source. It is not a sin to be poor. It is not a sin to those who believe in religious religions to lie. Crime is crime. No matter who does it anywhere, Everywhere it is committed it is not a feature of one class or type of people or representative of the greater majority of people on Centrelink payments. Just ask Brittany and now the other women fighting for justice in the halls of Parliament right now against this pack of lying filth, still trying to cover up their negligence and misogyny. Clearly given Barnaby and Abbott both hit Parliament House drunk as skunks multiple times. Both drunkenness and crime has nothing to do with receiving Social Security entitlements at all. This is a setup. It's a crock. And they're using the tragedy of a criminal intent and outcomes to manipulate gullible people again. With this statement attaching forced third party income management injury cards to sin, Andrew Lamming, Andrew Lamming has basically handed the election to the ALP now. 5.1 million voters plus their families is well over 20% of the population in Centrelink payments have already rejected national rollouts five times. Right? It's unbelievable what he thinks he's going to do. It, it's just, it's damn right cruel. It really is. And he comes on so smug. Okay? Um, and has a go at us and says we don't care about um, the issues with youth. We do. Hinkler has the highest youth suicide in the country outside of Indigenous communities. All right? We have a housing crisis. We have Indu now a barrier to getting housing because so many people have lost their housing thanks to Indu. He craps on about, you can ask the income manager for extra funds. Who's the income manager, Andrew? No such person. There's no such person. You know what I mean? It's just crazy. Um, and like, yeah. Well, we've got all the screenshots. Uh, he shouldn't, you know, how dare he come to our page and start that how it's to stop sin 
Um, is that with what's going on in Parliament right now? <coughs> Sin. Mm, really. Honestly, he has no clue. You know, no clues whatsoever. I mean, I have a daughter on the base rate of youth allowance of $309 a fortnight. At the moment, she's trying to get that changed to independent rate so she can just pay her rent. Right? If, if they don't do that in the next fortnight, she's homeless again. They don't care and they want to put her on a card. They're, they're saying to parents like me that my daughter, right, is using meth and everything else. She's not. Majority of kids don't. We know that. They know that. But they, they've got an agenda. It's money. And they'll do anything to keep their money rolling in, won't they? Right? At the expense of our kids, at the expense of our disabled people, carers, our older unemployed workers. Right? It's just wrong. It is wrong. But people need to get really upset now. How dare a federal politician sit in Parliament, right there, in Parliament, in the, in the House today, right? And instead of doing his job, he's on Facebook trolling our page. And he's getting paid $300,000 a year to play on bloody Facebook. How does that feel? And then he has the audacity to carry on about taxpayers' dollars being used responsibly, right? When he can drink it up as much as he wants. We've seen the results of them drinking it all up, haven't we? You know? Yeah. So don't let them off the hook because that's not good enough. All right? I had to remove all of his videos. We don't do electioneering. Even for our allies, we don't electioneer on the page. All right? But he thought he could get away with it. He didn't get away with it. Because our admins were there sorting it out. Jean says, I've had enough being disrespected by this government. Yep, me too. They are just flaunting it, you know, and it's, and it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Darlene says he deleted her comment. So did she go to her plate? Did you go to his page? He will delete, block and ban everybody. So... Be ready, if you go to his page, he will delete the comments. Because heaven forbid, you can't have an opinion on their pages. You will be delete, blocked. Make sure you get screenshots, right? Type out your comment just before you finish it, before you hit post, screenshot it, right? Save it and then hit post. That way, if it gets deleted straight away, you've got it. You've already done it, you know what I mean? Screenshot your post, people. He had me going for 45 minutes there, going through all the bloody posts, up and down, up and down, and screenshotting it all, because you have to. All right? Screenshot. Whenever you talk on one of their pages, screenshot. I was tempted to bring somebody to meet and greet, but I wouldn't put them through it. All right? And he wouldn't care anyway. Um, he just wouldn't care what it's done to them. So he was wanting people um, who have suffered mental health issues on the card to come and meet him at his office and, and tee up a meet and greet. But we know that he would not, um, he wouldn't believe them if he did. He, the last post I had up there, where Jody chimed in and said that it, she had a stress-induced heart attack as a result of the stress that she was under when she was on the card, he just totally dismissed it as it was not related. It was related. It's been proven by her doctors that it was related but he just wiped it. Do you know what I mean? So um, I wouldn't take anybody near him. He's a narcissist. He's a gaslighter. And even one of the comments that I did get screenshotted, somebody posted up the thing about what he said for, um, I think it was Invasion Day, and he made some other screen. And I thought, here we go. He's racist as well. Again, right there and there. You know, um... Susan Thompson says she got blocked from her federal LNP members page for asking why he voted for the card. That's it. They want their free speech, but they won't. They do, they will not. Um, uh, 
they don't want to be questioned, right? They don't want to take responsibility for what their actions are causing people. Okay, they vote as a party block and that's it. And they and they both they've all been fed rubbish. They've got no idea. I mean, Luke Howarth is the assistant minister to um, housing, for God's sakes. You know, but if you told him that India would cause people to become homeless, oh no, he still thinks it's a basics card. None of them have a bloody clue because they just follow a script. You know. Uh, Jean Paul Duran. The question is, what can we do to change the way they treat us if it's not organise a walk in every capital city? <coughs> and we have been silenced. This is not a democracy. There's things in the works, okay? And unfortunately, while I was busy sorting out the mess with Andrew Lamming, I missed a Zoom meeting, um, which I'm trying to now find out the contents of so that I can release some information to you guys as well. Um, don't worry. We're not going to be quiet. And I encourage everybody here not to be quiet. Don't be quiet about any of this. And you can go and protest any time you want outside any of their offices. Just stay on the footpath. Don't trespass on their property. Don't cause a civil disobedience or be a nuisance. Right? Get photos or a video of the day. Um, and, yeah. So, Nick Adler has also been blocked by a federal member of McKellar for speaking about the Indu card. I refused to shake his hand on election day at the polling booth and he belittled me. That's their level. That's their level, right? You know, that just shows what sort of people they are. They are not honourable members. They are in this for the coal industry, for the fossil fuel industry, for their big mates, right, and their big business and Twiggy Forest, and all their mining mates and everything like that. That's all they're in this for, is to strip this country of everything it's got. For their benefit, they're not going without, and they're certainly not being put on cashless debit cards for overuse of alcohol. And um, what was it? Twiggy Forest said it'll stop men from being pedophiles. You know? And then Pauline Hansen says that we're all drunks and we all sexually abuse our children and look what we're seeing coming out of Parliament House in the last few days four women have come forward so far right three of them with the same staffer right this is disgusting so Lamming blocked me before but he's obviously unblocked me now um, Tina but yes all I all of them have, most of them have got me blocked I don't comment on Keith Pitt's page so Peter Wilson yawn. What does that mean? Are you having a go at me about this or what? I mean, if you are, then you're on the wrong page, mate. If this is boring for you, if you, th if you think it's okay that a parliamentarian can be sitting there on 300 grand a year playing on Facebook to come and harass us for while he's sitting in question time, supposed to be doing his job, Peter Wilson, please let me know. If not, if what do you mean by yawn? All right. Whoever you are, I don't, I don't get what you mean. You know, this is not a boring subject. This is factual. Right? It's a disgrace. Hmm. Joy, just joy, just isn't married men bonking staff as a sin? Raping staff as liars, rotting expense accounts? Yes, it's all sinful. But this is only aimed at the poor. Remember, only the poor are sinners in their books. It is disgraceful. Anyway, I'm out of here. And I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.